If you need an affordable and easy anti-aging skincare routine that works, then come along with me right now. I'm taking you inside the drugstore to show you the three products you must have in your routine and how to use them. Here is a big disclaimer. I am not just randomly picking three cool products I like and telling you to buy them. No, I am telling you the three main things that are happening to your skin as you age and therefore, the three products you need to fix each of those things. So essentially, I have done all the hard work for you through years of studying and training as a dermatologist, trying all of these products, learning about their science, and even watching my own patients with a ton of different skin types use these products for years, I know what is up, and I'm giving you the crash course version right now. Lucky you, let's go inside. But before we go in, can you please hit subscribe on my channel? You can even give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment. It really helps spread the message as the budget dermatologist that you do not need to spend a fortune to get beautiful and healthy skin. And follow me on Instagram at the budget dermatologist while you're at it. More fun stuff is there. Before I show you my three holy grails, here is what you need to understand is happening to your skin as you age. This is why you look older than you used to. There are three things. Number one, collagen loss. You are losing collagen from your skin. Collagen is that wonderful protein in our skin that provides strength and scaffolding of the skin that holds it tight and taut and plump and all of those wonderful things that are true of youthful skin. But every single day as part of the natural aging process, you are gradually losing that collagen. This loss is what makes your skin look deflated and saggy. You start to look like gravity just got the best of you. And this is what contributes to fine lines and wrinkles. And I will tell you what product to get to fix this. Two, you lost your glow. Your skin looks dull and tired. As you age, the very top layer of your skin, called the epidermis, gets thicker, which is bad, while the middle dermal layer gets thinner, which is also bad. Young skin is the opposite, thinner epidermis, thicker dermis. What happens in aging skin is that the skin cells don't turn over as quickly as they should. Instead of going through their normal life cycle and dying and sloughing off the skin so that new cells can show up, they just accumulate on the outer surface of the skin. They don't slough away, so this excess buildup prevents the skin from reflecting light and you get a dull appearance. I will show you what product to get that will fix this and restore your glow and radiant complexion. And three, you have uneven skin tone. For a variety of reasons, including excess chronic sun exposure, aging skin starts to develop blotchiness, redness, and sunspots. I'll show you a product to reverse these changes too. For those three changes on your skin, that is why I say that you need three powerhouse products to address each of these things. So once again, there are three signs of skin aging, collagen loss, dull skin, and uneven skin tone. And the best news I have to share with you today, which is why I am here in a drugstore, is that you truly, truly do not need to spend hundreds of dollars per product to reverse these changes or slow down their progression. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. So let's go searching for the first product, and in my opinion, the most important. The first product will fight against collagen loss by rebuilding new collagen. It is a retinoid. There are only a very few ingredients that can penetrate deep enough into the skin to cause the fibroblast cells in the skin to produce new collagen. And a retinoid is one of those products that can penetrate enough to affect cellular change. This is an absolute must have in your routine if you are not pregnant or breastfeeding. Now is a great time for me to make one super important point about rebuilding collagen in the skin. A retinoid cream is not the same as a collagen cream. I know this can be a confusing point for some, but these are two different categories. Note that I am recommending a retinoid product, 
not a collagen cream. A cream that has collagen in it will likely not be able to penetrate into the dermis layer of the skin to replace lost collagen. The collagen molecule, when applied topically, is too big to get down into the dermis. Sure, it might be a luxurious and nice cream that makes the skin feel great and hydrated, but it will not restore lost collagen. So I am recommending retinoid products here, not collagen creams. So back to the drugstore, here are my top drugstore choices for a retinoid anti-aging product that works. I'm giving you four recommendations here based on skin type so that you can choose one that works best for you personally. For dry or sensitive skin, or if you are retinoid naive, meaning you have never tried a retinoid before, I recommend starting with the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair, the fragrance-free version. This is in a very moisturizing cream base, so you don't even need to buy a separate moisturizer to put on top of it in most cases. You can if you want, but you may not need to. Now, I use this in my own routine on my neck and on the tops of the hands because it is gentle in these sensitive areas but it is great for the face as well, an all-in-one great product. This will rebuild your collagen and help decrease your wrinkles. Retinol is the type of retinoid in this, which is proven to be anti-aging in many studies. Neutrogena has a long-standing history of success with this product, which has gone through multiple clinical trials. Neutrogena has tons of research and development money to spend on testing and refining their products, so I have always felt very confident in recommending this product. Obviously, so much so that I use it on myself as well. If you have normal to oily skin, choose L'Oreal 0.3% Pure Retinol Night Serum. I love this product because we know the concentration in it, and I like that it is a thin product and it goes on the skin very elegantly. It allows you to pair whichever type of moisturizer over it that works best for your skin. So this is more lightweight than the Neutrogena option. I recommend this for someone who has used retinol before and wants to try something maybe a little bit stronger. Now, if you really want an expert level over-the-counter retinoid for anti-aging, let's talk about Avene brand, which has a line of retinaldehyde products. Retinaldehyde is the closest thing to prescription strength that you can get over-the-counter. Why do I say that? Let me show you what I mean. Retinoids come in many forms from over-the-counter to prescription only. The prescription only form is known as retinoic acid. The retinoic acid is what works directly on the cell to affect cellular change, such as rebuilding collagen. Now for the over-the-counter forms of retinoids that you buy without a prescription, these will need to be converted by your body to retinoic acid first in order to do its job. The forms of retinoid that are available over the counter are retinyl esters, retinol, and retinaldehyde. And you can see the progression here of how each of these forms eventually end up as retinoic acid. The retinyl esters have to undergo three conversions. Retinol undergoes two, and retinaldehyde only has to undergo one conversion. So I like to think of it like a ladder from the weakest to the strongest, because the more conversions it has to go through, the less likely it is that a whole ton of it ends up as retinoic acid, which is the form it needs to be in to do its job. I also like to think of this like a ladder of side effects. So the stronger it is, the more side effects you get. The common side effects being dryness, burning, stinging, and irritation of the skin. Now, with that said, there is a drastic difference in the ability to tolerate an over-the-counter form compared to the prescription form. Over-the-counter forms are generally very well tolerated, and they are still quite effective. So retinaldehyde is the closest form of retinoid to prescription strength retinoic acid, such as tretinoin or retin-A. So retinaldehyde only has to undergo one single conversion to get to retinoic acid. The other retinol products I just mentioned have to undergo two conversions to get to retinoic acid. So I like to think of retinaldehyde as a stronger version of retinol. At the drugstore, I am recommending the Retronal line of anti-aging creams. There are three strengths, Day Cream, which is the most gentle, the 0.05 cream, and the strongest, Intensive 0.1 cream. I like to start low and go slow, but if you have used retinoids before and tolerate them well, you may be a great candidate for this intensive cream. 
They also have an eye cream in this line that is my absolute favorite eye cream. I have a whole video on that, why I love it so much, and how to incorporate that into a routine, so check it out. And lastly, if you have acne or acne-prone skin, I love to recommend Adapalene, such as Differin. It's a retinoid which we know has anti-aging effects as well, and it has amazing acne-fighting benefits. This does not have to undergo the conversion to retinoic acid like I mentioned above, so this is in a different category. This is a prescription-strength medication available over-the-counter here in the U.S. Check out my Differin skincare routine video if you want to learn more about that. So now you have your first and most important anti-aging product, a retinoid. Next, you need to grab your second product to restore your glowing skin. And for this, I recommend hydroxy acids, like glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid. These acids will drastically speed up the cell cycle, which remember is slowed down in aging skin. So it breaks up that pile of dead skin cells on the surface of the skin and promotes desquamation or shedding of those unwanted cells. This will result in light being reflected off your skin for a radiant appearance and a much smoother skin surface. What is even more interesting about topical acids is that there have been multiple studies showing that they can actually induce fibroblasts in your skin to produce new collagen and they can decrease unwanted pigmentation in the skin. I am giving you three options for topical acids. A wash-off product, which is best for sensitive skin, a leave-on product, and a product that you can choose to use just a couple times a week. So choose what works best for your situation. My top drugstore cleanser for a gentle exfoliation and restoring that glow is L'Oreal Glycolic Cleanser. It has both glycolic and salicylic acid in it. I love this one because it has the percentage of glycolic acid in it, so we know what we are getting. This is incredibly affordable. You can see me talk about this one in so many of my other videos and on my Instagram as well. CeraVe Essay Cleanser is another one that I love. I have a whole product review video on that for you to check out. Now, I know some of you out there want a cleanser with a stronger percentage of acid in it, and that's okay if your skin can handle it. There are two that I recommend, but they do come at a higher price. There is the SkinCeuticals Glycolic Renewal Cleanser and the Glytone Mild Gel Cleanser. I will link those below. You can compare and contrast the price points and the ingredients to find what will be your sweet spot. But this is a drugstore video, so the L'Oreal and the CeraVe are my top two choices. For a leave-on product, let's talk about a serum. After you cleanse the skin, you can apply a brightening serum that has a topical acid in it. Allow it to dry, then apply a moisturizer on top. This is a great example of a product that will brighten up a dull and aged complexion. This is L'Oreal 10% Pure Glycolic Acid Serum. It is fragrance-free, it has aloe in it to be soothing as well. Make sure you follow this up with a moisturizer so it does not dry the skin out. Another example of a type of leave-on product to use here is Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Not a drugstore option, but a holy grail of mine that I incorporate into a lot of different types of routines. So if you happen to be watching this and planning to shop online instead of at the drugstore, compare and contrast to this one. The Paula's Choice one is great if you are acne prone as well. And finally, an option that you can use at night, maybe once a week, twice a week or so, just depending on your skin condition, is the L'Oreal Glycolic Renewal Pads. This is 10% glycolic acid, which is pretty strong, so I don't like using this every night. I actually don't recommend that. But if you have some stubborn dark spots or really feel a glycolic cleanser is not enough for your skin, Check this product out. I have used this on and off for years. I have compared it to many similar types of products, and I do think that this one is a great and affordable option. And last, for your uneven skin tone, your third anti-aging product must have is a vitamin C product. I'm including the vitamin C product in this category here for uneven skin tone, but really, it does so much more than that. It's truly an anti-aging workhorse. It can rebuild collagen in the skin. It serves as an antioxidant, which protects against skin cancer and photoaging. It treats dark spots, and it decreases redness or erythema. 
So vitamin C will even out your complexion and can really be so, so important for making aging skin look more youthful and make you look more well-rested. There are plenty of very good vitamin C serums that I love right at the drugstore, so here are my top choices. Number one, Vichy Lift Active Peptide C Ampule Serum. I love this concept because the sterile glass packaging allows great reassurance that you are getting a fresh and accurate dose each time. That is one of the major problems of vitamin C products. As you may know, they are notoriously unstable and very difficult to formulate. They oxidize quickly when exposed to light and air, so their effectiveness really diminishes quickly. But this concept here is awesome. It has 10% pure vitamin C, peptides, hyaluronic acid, it's fragrance-free, and has only 10 ingredients. I love a minimalistic product without unnecessary additives. Second, Vichy also has a bit of a stronger vitamin C, their Lift Active Serum. It has 15% pure vitamin C, so that is another long-standing favorite of mine. Another great option are the Neutrogena Serum Capsules. This is even stronger at 20% vitamin C. I'd say if you do not have sensitive skin, this is a great option. It's the same concept here that I love, the individual capsule packaging to preserve effectiveness. It can sting a bit on the skin for some people, so I do not recommend this for really sensitive or rosacea-prone skin types. Last, if you have acne-prone skin, I like the La Roche-Posay 10% option because it also has salicylic acid in it. This does have a fragrance in it, which doesn't bother most people, but it's good to know so that you can take that into consideration. So a retinoid, an acid, and a vitamin C serum are my three must-haves that you need in your anti-aging skincare routine. While you are here, don't forget about a gentle cleanser, great sunscreen, and a moisturizer for your skin. All important steps of your routine, I'm linking my current favorites below. The sunscreen will be of utmost importance here, not only to prevent further aging, but also because retinoids and acids can make you burn more easily in the sun. Just remember that a skincare routine is only part of your anti-aging equation. Beyond this, you need to address your diet, sleep hygiene, stress management, and regular exercise, because a poor lifestyle can really accelerate your aging. My advice is to first optimize your skincare routine and lifestyle habits and give that some time to work. See how far that will take you in your skin health journey. Then if you decide that you are ready for even more improvement beyond that, that is when you can consider cosmetic procedures to enhance your results. That will of course come with a higher price tag. So optimize the easy and affordable things first and build from there as needed. What do you think of this anti-aging routine? I hope that you find that it is easy, affordable, and effective. If you try it out, comment below what you think and follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss any other fun content coming your way. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. If you haven't already, now is a great time to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and let's keep this conversation going. See you soon.